everybody. So in this video, we're going to look at second order derivatives. In a later video, I'll show you how and why we use these. But for this video, I'm just going to show you how to calculate them. So in this example, we've been given that y is this cubic equation. And we've been asked to work out dy by dx and then d squared y by dx squared. And I want to show you why we use this notation. So by finding dy by dx, what we're doing is we're differentiating this y with respect to x. So we're applying the operation d by dx. So this is why we write it as dy by dx. Then when we differentiate each of these terms, we get 3x squared minus the 12x plus the 12. And this constant will just go. So that's part A. For part B, we differentiate dy by dx again with respect to x. So we're applying the same operation as d by dx. And this has notation similar to multiplication, where we have d by dy, so it becomes d squared y. And then this dx and this dx become dx squared. So when we differentiate this with respect to x, we get 6x minus 12. And then this constant will go. So I hope that helps with understanding why we have this notation. Let's try another example. So in this example, we're given that the function of x is given here. We've been asked to differentiate it with respect to x, to find f prime of x, then differentiate this with respect to x, to find f double prime of x. So perhaps you want to try these questions yourself. You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so welcome back if you had to go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to write these roots using index notation. Because this is 1 over the square root of x, this will become x to the negative 1 half. So now that we have it using powers, we can differentiate this. We'll differentiate this with respect to x. And this will give us f prime of x. So we'll bring this power down. This becomes 3x. And then we take away 1 from this power. So negative 1 half. We'll do the same here. So we get negative 1 quarter. Take away 1 from this power. So x to a minus 3 over 2. And then for part b, again we'll differentiate with respect to x. And this will give us f double prime of x, we'll differentiate this, and we get negative 3 over 2, x to a minus 3 over 2, plus 3 over 8, x to a minus 5 over 2. Okay? For part c, we've been asked to find the value of f double prime of 4, so we're going to substitute x equals 4 into here. We can work this out on our calculators, and we get minus 45 over 256. Okay? Let's try one more question. Okay, so here we've got an exam style question. So we're given that the function of x is equal to mx cubed minus 4mx squared plus 2x squared minus 6. And we've been told that when x equals 3, f double prime of a second derivative will equal to negative 2. We've been asked to work out the value of m. So again, perhaps you want to try this question yourself. You can pause the video, and when you come back, we'll go through the work solution. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to work out the first derivative, which is f prime of x. When we differentiate this term, we'll bring the 3 down. So we'll get 3m, because m is just a constant times x squared, we'll do the same here, so we get negative mx plus 4x, and then this 6 will just go. So we need to differentiate this again, so we'll get f double prime of x, 
will bring this two down and we get 6m x this x will go and this will become just 4 and then we're told that f double prime of x is negative 2 when x is positive 3 so we'll replace this x with a 3 and we get 18m minus 8m plus 4 will equal the negative 2 We'll move this positive 4 to the left hand side. And this will be 10m. So m will be equal to negative 6 over 10 or negative 3 fifths. Okay? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson and worksheet from my website, mythmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.